Hello and welcome to the first instructional video in a series of instructional videos on the Kinemoto Software Development Kit. First of all, we're going to look at the files we need to run the Kinemoto Software Development Kit. We're going to need the Kinemoto server and the Kinect for Windows runtime environment. To download these files, please open your browser and go to download.kinemoto.com. We already installed the Kinect for Windows runtime environment, so we are only going to download the Kinemoto server. So click on the Kinemoto server, download, and if you need to allow the download of the file. After the file is downloaded, click on the file, double click on setup, and you will get a quick and easy installer. Press install, allow access. So next up, we're going to create a new project in Unity. I'm going to click away all these screens. Minimize the Kinemoto server, so we have clean screen to work in again. Open up Unity, and create a new project. Name the project anything you like. For now, I'm just going to use new Unity project. I'm going to put it on 2D because we're going to make a quick 2D example and press create project. Okay, so now we have our empty Unity project and normally you would go to the Unity Asset Store window but since we have our package on our uh, desktop locally we're going to open the package from here. So we're double clicking on our package, you can see all the files here in the corner, press import and they will all be added to your Unity project. This process should be virtually the same inside of a Unity project with the Unity Asset Store, but if you have any questions be sure to send us an email to the support email address. So first off we're going to create an empty game object. So go to create, create empty, I'm going to name it Kinemoto, and I'm going to add a new component. You can type Kinemoto in the search bar for components, or you can go to scripts, and then navigate to the Kinemoto script and click on it. So now we have the Kinemoto script on our new empty game object. And there are a few things that you can set up before you're going to use Kinemoto. First you can go to the settings where you have the body frame source, the body index frame source and the color frame source. Make sure the body frame source is checked otherwise you can't use the body joints. Next up you have the listeners. We're not going to use this yet but we're going to handle these in a future video. After that you have the engagement methods. There are two different kinds of engagement methods either the nearest users or raise hand. The engagement method helps Kinemoto to know which user is currently playing the game. So with the standard option of raise hand, the person playing the game needs to raise their hand above their head to start playing the Kinemoto game. You have to engage in x seconds, where you can choose the amount of time it takes for Kinemoto to recognize a player as engaged and the amount of users to engage, where you can choose an amount between 1 and 6 to indicate the amount of players that will be playing the game. Aside from that, we also have options to change the Kinemoto server settings, but for now it's better to not touch it. And this marks the end of our first Kinemoto instructional video, where we just set up the Kinemoto base class, we made a Unity project, and we downloaded the files we need to run Kinemoto. Please tune in to our next video and thank you for watching.